Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Mark Cuban is known for his loudmouth antics on Shark Tank and has a business past that allows for him to get away with it. He got into business at 12 years old selling garbage bags door to door. From humble beginnings, he's now the owner of the Mavericks NBA franchise, one of the most valuable sports franchises. If you want to know some more about the man himself, watch our video all about him right here. Mark Cuban has written or co-authored 19 books packed with his own brand of advice. They aren't just about business, but also topics like how to help with smoking, gambling, or drinking addictions. There are books for children entrepreneurs and, of course, plenty of analogies around basketball. But we know some of our Alux viewers don't have all the time in the world to read 19 books. So here is a summary of 15 business lessons from Mark Cuban. Number 1. If you're learning, make sure you're being paid for your efforts. Cuban didn't get handouts. He paid his own way through school. He did everything from being a disco dancing instructor to starting a chain letter. But when he graduated, his real learning only began. But this time, he planned to be the best while he was schooled. He saw any and every situation in his career as an education, one that he was getting a salary for. He said, In every job, I would justify it in my mind, whether I loved it or hated it, that I was getting paid to learn and every experience would be of value when I figured out what I wanted to do when I grew up. This isn't the only way Mark Cuban learns. Keep watching to find out his most important tip on how to own a business through books. Number 2. If you're vocal, own your loudmouth nature. Mark Cuban doesn't shy away from his reputation as a loudmouth. It's earned him $1.6 million in fines from the NBA for his comments on the league and its referees. He often speaks first and thinks later, but this is actually a strategy he stands behind. As he puts it, what I believe is to put out your opinion and let everyone else react. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. People are afraid to put out their opinions and get some pushback. So in essence, if you're going to be a loudmouth, you need to own that there might be some criticism. So have an apology waiting in the wings just in case. Number 3. Control what you can control. The amount of effort you put in. Cuban explains that in both business and sport, the only thing you can control is how much effort you put in. Markets crash, opponents make cheap shots, and you can't always predict your clients' reactions. What you can control is putting in 100%. That's focus, energy, and expertise. At 32 years old, Cuban sold micro solutions for $6 million. His earning? $2 million. Not bad for your first business, but not enough for a big dreamer like Cuban. He committed to putting his head down again, reading everything he could, waking up early, going to bed late, and repositioning himself by putting in 100% to gain the tools and knowledge he needed for his next success. Cuban follows the advice of former basketball coach Bobby Knight that everyone wants to win, but only those prepared to win will actually do it. Number 4. Know when to hold and fold after the sale of Micro Solutions, Mark Cuban was hungry for his next project. He did his homework and decided to partner with Chris Jabe and Todd Wagner to launch AudioNet. They built it into a leading internet radio company and rebranded to Broadcast.com. Four years from starting, in 1999, it was time to sell. The signs were all there. Internet companies were the buzzword in business, but the market interest couldn't hold forever. It was time to cash out. The sale of Broadcast.com to Yahoo for $5.9 billion in stock made Mark Cuban an overnight billionaire. Only a year later, the dot-com bubble burst and the value of Broadcast.com fell. Timing was everything and Mark Cuban used his knowledge and market insight to make that important call. Number 5. Selling is solving your customers' problems this one isn't a new concept, but it certainly is one you can't hear too often. Cuban refers back to his first business selling garbage bags as the first place he learned the magic formula for sales. You're trying to show them how you're going to make their lives easier. There are no favors involved. It's a win-win for everybody. Everybody needs garbage bags, so when you show up at their door selling them, you're providing a solution and making your customers' lives easier. According to Mark Cuban, if you can master selling, then you can accomplish anything. He sees selling as connecting with people and serving them.
Number six, motivate by visualizing your exact success. Mark Cuban moved to Dallas, Texas in 1982 and got a job as a bartender, but his dreams were much bigger. He aimed to own his own business and retire by 30. That was only six years away, so a lot had to change for him to make that dream a reality. To help him stay motivated, he would drive around and look at the big houses in the area and imagine himself living there. This kept him focused on his dream when he went home to sleep on the floor of a three-bedroom apartment he shared with six other guys. By 1990, he cashed out of his first business with $2 million in profit and could finally afford the kind of houses he drove past on his way to work at a bar. Number 7. Work on your cash-in-pocket strategy, not an exit strategy. Although it might seem like Cuban made his money by selling his businesses, he sees it as making successful and valuable companies. He never built his business to cash out. It's popular nowadays, especially in the tech industry, to think too far ahead to the point of selling your business to the likes of Google. According to Cuban, this is flawed thinking. He says, you should focus on building the best possible business. If you're great, people will notice and opportunities will appear. Only if a company has a good long-term intrinsic value will it ever be attractive for a buyer. Number eight, if you want to be successful, be different. Mark Cuban has a reputation as a bullish angel investor on the TV show The Shark Tank. He doesn't hold back on his criticism of entrepreneurs reinventing the wheel or bringing their same sob story to the floor. Cuban believes if you can demonstrate a clear sense of market differentiation, you're headed for success. As soon as he sees a copycat, he bows out of the deal. According to Cuban, that's just a big red flag for me to go look somewhere else. If you're looking to copy an existing business, Mark Cuban suggests you open a franchise. Shots fired. Number 9. Don't get caught up in hours worked, but in the results. It's easy to think that effort means putting in long hours, but Cuban advises that long hours don't necessarily mean good work. He judges success on having goals that you achieve and measurable results. Focus on what's actually getting done, don't just put in endless long hours. Ask yourself what needs to happen to be able to deliver to your client, and then make actionable plans to make it happen. Number 10. Diversify to protect what you already have. It might be an age-old practice, but don't put all your eggs in one basket is still solid advice according to Cuban. When he sold Broadcast.com, he was lumped with a huge chunk of Yahoo stock. It was worth $118 in its peak in January 2000, but by September 2011 was only worth $4 a share. Thankfully for Cuban, he had diversified his fortune since his early windfall. He hedged his stock in synthetic indexes. The move cost him $20 million, but it hedged his Yahoo shares when the market cratered. When he reached billionaire status, Cuban spread his wealth across various industries, ensuring that no one crash could take him out. He invested in sports with the NBA Mavericks, acquired landmark theaters, bought Mongolia Pictures, and went into cable TV with HDNet. This way, if one of his eggs turned out to be an ugly duckling, it wasn't the end of his wealth. And Alexers, if you're keen to try investing, check out our video all about the 15 stocks we've invested in during this pandemic. Number 11. Know your business better than anyone else. If you want to be the best in the game, you need to know all the rules, plays, and opposition better than anyone else. If you're not the smartest one in the room about your product, then that means someone else is and they could one-up you. Cuban spends a massive amount of time reading to research the industries he operates in and business in general. He believes knowledge is power and the only way of creating a successful company. Number 12. It doesn't matter how much you fail, you only have to be right once to succeed. The great thing about making it big is it doesn't seem to matter how many times you failed before that. You might have racked up hundreds of failures, but the time you get it right is more than enough. This rule works for getting a great job, launching a successful business, and finding the partner of your dreams. Number 13. Don't let the bank own you. Mark Cuban believes that 99% of today's companies can be started without any capital, and he's quite vocal about dissuading business to taking bank loans. 
The reason for this is he believes business should be centered around serving your customers. However, when you take a bank loan, you end up prioritizing taking care of your banker. Your banker becomes your new boss, and if you hit trouble, which all small businesses do, then you aren't in a position to make it work no matter what. You're forced to make it work for the bank's agenda. There are no shortcuts in business, according to Mark. Hard work pays rewards, and bank loans can stifle you. Number 14. Leverage free publicity to build your personal brand. Cuban is no stranger to appearing on screen. Apart from being the biggest shark in the tank, he's participated in a season of Dancing with the Stars, appeared in The Simpsons, has been interviewed countless times, including appearing on The Colbert Report, and even scored a cameo as himself on the series Entourage. A pretty impressive resume for a businessman. The reason for this, he sees these opportunities as ways to build his personal brand and to create awareness of the Mark Cuban businesses. Number 15. Your customers will let you know just how to keep them. Aluxers will know the business strategy that it costs more to win over a new client than retain an existing one, so it makes business sense to keep your customers happy. Cuban realized this early on and owns the fact that customer satisfaction should be a part of carving the roadmap to your product or service. Your customers can tell you the things that are broken and how they want to be made happy. Listen to them. Make them happy. He also doesn't believe in squeezing every dollar out of your client that you can, but rather look at business as something that happens over years. He measures value in the total upside of a business relationship and not just how much you made on one deal with that customer. Hende Luxers, here we are at the end of our list. Which of these business values are you already adopting and how are they making your fortune grow? What's the best business advice you've ever received? Let us know in the comments. And of course, for sticking with us until the end, here's your bonus. Mark Cuban has some great pearls of wisdom, but it's not always what you'd expect from an established billionaire. One bit of advice he's famous for is this one. As I would learn later in life, money makes you extremely handsome. And while maybe that's true, we won't leave that as this maverick's closing business lesson. Mark Cuban believes that everything is possible and his self-made success story demonstrates it's true. What Mr. Cuban wants the world to know is there's no reason it can't be you as well. According to him, if you're willing to put in the effort and start the business and you're willing to deal with the challenges and the fact you might starve or live like a student, if you're willing to fight through those with effort and brain power, anything is possible. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question on our website, alux.com. Thank you for being an Aluxer and we'll see you back tomorrow.